What is dark matter? Imagine that everything we can see in the universe, all the stars, planets, and galaxies, is only a tiny fraction of what's actually out there. What if there's a vast, unseen substance that makes up the majority of the cosmos? A mysterious entity we call dark matter. The case of the missing mass. Let's talk about a cosmic puzzle. In the 1930s, astronomers observing galaxies noticed something strange. Galaxies were spinning much faster than they should based on the amount of visible matter they contained. Something invisible was providing extra gravitational pull, holding these galaxies together. The invisible architect. Now let's consider the scale of this missing mass. Scientists now believe that dark matter makes up about 85% of all the matter in the universe. It acts as a kind of invisible scaffolding, forming vast cosmic webs that galaxies cluster around. Without dark matter's gravitational influence, galaxies would fly apart. The hunt for the unseen. It's time to delve into the mystery. Despite its abundance and crucial role in the universe's structure, dark matter does not interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation. This means we can't see it with telescopes. To detect dark matter, scientists are actively searching for the particles that make it up using two main strategies. Direct and indirect detection. Direct detection experiments look for the faint signals of dark matter particles as they occasionally collide with ordinary matter. These experiments are conducted deep underground to shield detectors from cosmic rays and other background radiation. Indirect detection, on the other hand, involves looking for the products of dark matter, annihilation, or decay. Telescopes scanning the skies search for these telltale signs. Of course, analyzing data from particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, is also a great help in unraveling the secrets of dark matter, exotic particles, or new physics. What exactly is dark matter made of? One leading theory suggests that dark matter is composed of new types of fundamental particles that do unfit into our current understanding of particle physics. These hypothetical particles would include WIMPs, which stand for Weakly Interacting Massive Particles, and EC. According to this view, the universe, during its evolution, created a sea of these dark matter particles that have survived until today. Other possibilities include sterile neutrinos and gravitinos. Sterile neutrinos are hypothetical particles that don't interact via the weak nuclear force. Gravitinos, meanwhile, are hypothetical particles that are closely related to gravitons, the theorized carriers of the gravitational force. Alternatively, dark matter could be evidence of new physics such as modified gravity. This theory proposes that our current understanding of gravity, which works flawlessly on Earth and in our solar system, doesn't hold true on the largest scales. Instead, the apparent effects of dark matter could be explained by a modification of gravity on galactic and cosmological scales. The unsettling truth, the fact that the vast majority of the universe, s matter remains unknown, is a profound and somewhat unsettling truth. We are essentially living in a cosmos dominated by a mysterious substance we cannot directly observe.